The weather will play a big role in this weekend's Rhode Island National Guard Air Show in Quonset. Today, NBC10's Olivia Fecto is traveling in style. She rode along with one group you'll see this weekend. Yeah, they're known for leaving their mark on the sky. Olivia is live in the cockpit right now in Quonset. Hi, Olivia. Well, Dana Patrice, I'm the type of person who gets sick when I fly on regular airplanes. So for me, strapping into a World War II fighter plane seemed like it was going to be pretty tough for me. Wind rushes by me as I fly through the sky at more than 140 miles per hour over beaches and water. I'm flying in a Geico Skytyper, a World War II fighter plane that flies in formation with other Skytypers at air shows across the country. You don't want this thing to ride up right. if it's inflated, you know? I suited okay. up Friday and got briefed by the pilots before jumping in the plane and taking off. The ride is smooth and mellow, the feeling unsettling. You spend your entire life trying to stay away from other airplanes in the sky, and now it's the, the goal is to get uh, into position and as close as you can. A relaxing ride about 30 minutes long until the end, an upward maneuver shortly before we landed. I'm told I did okay for someone who gets airsick. So you did well. Yeah. We love the Rhode Island Air Show. For my pilot, Ken Johansson, the Rhode Island Air Show is like coming home. He was born on base here at Quonset. He says he's glad he can come back each year to show off the Sky Typer's maneuvers. Well, that wasn't the only flight that I took today. Coming up at 6 o'clock, we'll take you on board Fat Albert. That's a military cargo plane where you experience unbelievable G-force. Live at Kwanzaa, Olivia Fecto, NBC10 News.